alaikum in this video i will explain the concept of somatic recombination and i will be using some figures from immunology for medical students book first thing we should know the structure of the antibody the antibody consists of uh, four chains two light chains and two heavy chains the light chain consists of one variable region and one constant region and the heavy chain consists of one uh, variable region and three or more constant regions moving on to the synthesis of heavy chain the heavy chain actually consists of several gene segments which are the leader variable diversity joining and lastly the constant region segments and these gene segments are actually brought next to each other by special enzyme during the process of somatic recombination to uh, to be in, uh, to be expressed later on yielding a functional I immunoglobulin polypeptide chain and these gene segments exist in different sets or groups which are different versions of the same segment and you should know that the synthesis of the chain is a two-step process and it begins by brought, uh, bringing together the a specific segment of, uh, from the adversity and a specific segment from the joining region and after that a specific segment from the variable region will be uh, brought uh, next to the uh, DJ segment and of course the uh, these two processes will be uh, facilitated by special enzymes in the cell and after uh, doing just that and choosing a specific segment to be encoded transcription will take place producing a primary RNA transcript as you can see in the figure and then the process of RNA splicing or processing will take place splicing out introns and keeping the exons and uh, bringing them together and actually cutting out a specific constant region and keeping the other as you can see in the figure we have both the mu and the delta uh, constant regions so we will uh, choose one constant region to stay and we will cut the other one and these constant regions are very important in determining the type of the uh, of the immunoglobulin produced later on and after that Translation and removal of the leader peptide sequence will take place producing finally in this example mu heavy chain protein which will be joined later on with the uh, light chain uh, protein producing a functional antibody Synthesis of kappa and lambda light chains actually are almost identical to the synthesis of heavy chain except there are a few minor uh, differences between them first thing the D region or the diversity segment is missing so we'll only have V and J and of course the constant region so that's uh, what why it's called a uh, two step, uh, one step process instead of two step process but other than that it is fair to say that they are very similar in the in the way the, uh, they work and of course finally we will have a in this example kappa, kappa chain polypeptide which will be uh, joined with the uh, heavy chain polypeptide giving us a functional antibody the TCR synthesis is very similar to the synthesis of, of light and heavy chains but you should know that there are several differences structural differences actually between TCR and antibody first thing TCR consists of two chains one alpha chain and one beta chain and each of these chains consists of one variable region and one constant region for oversimplification purposes you can assume that the alpha chain resembles the light chain of the antibody and the beta chain resembles the heavy chain of the antibody so you can uh, say that the beta chain contains the L, V, D and J and of course the constant region while the alpha chain lacks the D segment I think worth mentioning is that there are two types TCR in our body the first type which is the predominant type which comprises about 95% of all the TCRs in our body which is the alpha beta TCR and the other type which is the gamma delta TCR and that's it